everybody, it's Sarah back again with another video. This one is ply on the fly. And as you can see here, I have a little Christmas tree shaped temporary cop built up on my spindle. And guest appearance by Max. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I ply on the fly and maybe it will help you with how you are trying to do it yourself. So here we go. I kind of park the spindle between my knees and wrap around my first finger a couple times to get a butterfly going. And I have another video on how I do this. So if I'm going too fast for you, please check out the other video. But here we go, we're getting this off. And I'll also show you how I park my loop for my fly on the fly. So you guys can see that really good. Um, here you can see it is around a leg. But when I went to go park it, the single wasn't enough to wrap again but it also wasn't enough to just or short enough to just loop over either the shaft or one of the arms right away so i twisted it around the bottom of my shaft until i find a likely suspect and just slip it over and it holds it for me then i can bring my singles and store them on my shaft while i'm spinning for the singles so here we go we're going to half hitch and hold on to that loop then I put my spindle underneath of my legs. I'm not pinching the spindle with my legs because I don't want to stress the wood, but I put it under my legs and pull up a loop through our parked loop. So let me show you. You just open the little loop and grab your single and pull it through. And while your spindle is under here, kind of close it off so it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't backspin or anything like that. And you unwind your butterfly slowly while you kind of open and close your other hand to be able to grab up one gigantic loop, park the loop on your finger, let go of your spindle and give it a ply twist and wait for the ply twist to go into it. And when the spindle stops spinning, it's usually enough ply twist or close enough to it. To check it, it wants to almost hang in the loop, but not quite. See how that's how it should look. Just to go and twist. It shouldn't be hard to pull apart. And you just wind on like usual. And I don't have enough to keep going because my half hitch won't reach. So I'll stop and half hitch here. My pinky is still holding on to my ply on the fly loop. So I'll put my spindle back under my legs both fingers inside this loop and transfer, grab my single, pull it through and do my little hand dance. I generally only do one loop per ply on the fly ply make. Uh, the only reason I will make a double or a triple loop and one of my makes is because I have either, it's generally because I have a gigantic bump <laughs> in my yarn that um, isn't gonna make it successfully through the loop and I'll have to pull on the loop too hard in order to get it to wind on. Um, otherwise, I just do the single loop. So each of my makes is usually just one. Again, we're winding on. 
And again, here's my loop on my fingers, so I'm not going to have enough to go around again. Do my half hitch, put my spindle under, grab my single, and dance. And see here is a, a spot that doesn't really want to flow freely, so I'll just bring up another loop and then park it on my finger, give it a ply twist. And where my loop is, is kind of poofy because it was a thick-ish spot. So I just give it a little roll. Because I'm spinning this semi-long draw, it has a little bit more air in it. So I can just squish out that lump and it is the same diameter as everything else now and ready to go. So I'll show you guys one more time after I get this wound on. Or maybe two, depending on how many more yards of singles I have here. Here we go. Under, two fingers in the loop, grab the single and pull it through. By keeping my hand with the butterfly out to the side, kind of like at a 90 degree angle from the rest of the yarn, I'm able to keep the actual loop that it's going through open more. And this hand that opens and closes is what pulls up my yarn. And we're going to park that again making sure to leave this yarn not plied so we have something to continue working with once we go to add more singles to our temporary cup. And it looks like the ply twist is done. Yep. So butterfly it up, wind it on. Here's my loop on my pinky, and here's where we're at. So this time, it stopped pretty perfectly. So I'm going to slip my loop for my ply on the fly that we don't want to lose over the bottom shaft. And then here's my single to start continue spinning singles with. So you can see the ply on the fly comes this way. And then it takes a detour and the loop that we need to save to ply next time is around the shaft and the single comes up and we half hitch and then we are ready to go again. So that is really all there is to how I do ply on the fly. Um, if you guys have any questions or want to see something different, need to see something different, don't understand something, Please let me know either in the comments or on Ravelry. I'm Mrs. Flick there. Um, and just you know, drop me a line and tell me you loved it, you hated it, uh, it helped, <laughs> whatever. You can always find me on Ravelry um, pretty much all day. So just uh, let me know if I can help anymore. Thanks, guys. Bye.